Hi and welcome aboard Signorita. Signorita is a Bavaria 38 and with this video I intend to demonstrate to you the concept of the holder. This thing here, the holder of our um, wind pilot our wind steering device which is a Neptune from England I'll just flip the camera a little so that you can see here's the uh, counterweight for the uh, for the airfoil that is actually steering the boat now to benefit from this video it's probably a very good idea to be familiar with the function of a servo pendulum wind steering device like this one. Now the wind steering device is this thing here that is mounted to any kind of holder in this axle and fastened with this bolt. Most people have big constructions more or less looking like an Eiffel Tower that obstructs the use of a scoop like the scoop we have on this yard. We use the scoop for bathing, for swimming, for uh, entering and exiting our, uh, our rowing boat, our dinghy. So we wanted some sort of holder that would not take away, destroy the use of our swimming or bathing platform here aft. And this is how I solved the problem. This thing here swings away and that's one of the things I intend to show you in this video. Now, first of all, um, let me show you how I disengage the uh, wind steering device. Because um, you usually do that by just swinging the uh, the servo rudder swinging it up, but that is actually in most cases rather difficult. I'll put the boat on automatic steering and come back and show you. Okay, now the boat is being steered by our Raymarine autopilot. And the lines are loose and I want to pull this one up but you can't it's just so stuck in the water because of the speed that you cannot do it it's it's if you try to swing it out to the side it it won't let you what I do then to disengage is I loosen the, the, the knot the lock knot here out my swing mount like this and then I can do it I can lock it again here and I have a little yellow line somewhere another line I usually use one that is a lot thicker this one is too thin but just for the purpose of the demonstration okay so now it's disengaged and I can show you the position that we put it in when we are um, using the scoop for uh, swimming or bathing or uh, getting into the uh, tender. I loosen the knot here. I do that very carefully because I haven't secured it from falling out and falling off.
now the uh, scoop, the bathing platform, is totally free. We can use it any way we ever have. It's totally free from this big contraption that would otherwise prohibit us from using the platform. Now the the um, self-steering device is now somewhat outside of the boat's perimeter. So if we enter a harbor like this, we might crush it against um, the pier. To avoid that, we have a third position. In this position, the self-steering device is safely inside the perimeter of the boat and even if we unintentionally hit a, the, the wall of a pier, it won't get crushed and we can actually still go by it, pass it and use the scoop for man overboard maneuvers or whatever. It's, it's pretty much out of the way and this is the way we have it always when we're just in the harbor. Now I added some power arms to the, to the Neptune self-steering device to make this possible because as some of you may have noticed the lines being pulled by this wind steering device are going not to both sides as they usually do but are going only to the one side. This is necessary if you want to swing it away like this. If you want to be able to swing it away like this you cannot have these power lines going to both sides like this. That, that would make the whole idea impractical. So I have now secured it in the operating position and I'm loosening the string up here and letting the um, servo rudder gently fall into the water. And to have both lines go to the one side, I added this power arm. It's the two pieces of stainless flat metal bolted onto the arch of the self-steering device right here. I have welded in a connection here and of course it's welded here and all kinds of stuff. The power arm, the, the standard normal power arm which, uh, pulling strings from this self-steering device is this part and it usually pulls the strings from here to one side and to the other side. Since I'm pulling to a block that's a little below this center point here, I added this triangular shape so that the pull of the line would be I believe it's called perpendicular, 90 degrees angle to the line. Otherwise, when it pulled out here, it wouldn't be very powerful and when it was in here, it would be. Now, I'll put it into operation again. The Raymarine Autopilot is now um, in standby mode and it's the uh, Neptune that is now steering the boat. As you may notice, 
the uh, servo rudder is, is running a little to starboard, which means that this one is too short and this one is too long. So I adjust that at the steering wheel. Now the servo rudder is operating so more or less around the center line and I know that the lines have the right correct length. They can both lines can be adjusted at the wheel. The lines are fed in through this one and then forward to two blocks under the steering wheel and eventually I will be uh, covering the lines with a protection that I can stand on without stepping on the lines. And so this is how this unit, the swing mount, the yes Milling swing mount, this is how the concept of it works. I did all the welding myself. It's not very nicely done but it's uh, strong and it has proven to be very very practical um, this one here could uh, very much be improved it should have a line so that it cannot fall off or it should be some kind of spring operated mechanism that you could activate or deactivate with the handle but um, in general it works very well for us. We um, can always use the bathing platform for whatever purpose we want to use and we can always get around this thing. It's never really very much in the way. Thank you for watching.